Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel if you're new here. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you all so much for tuning in. This is going to be a general reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Um, let's hop right into your reading here, Pisces. I'm going to get yours spread out and clarify each of those. Okay, Great Spirit of the Most High, we call upon you now, asking for the most highest and divine messages for Pisces, for all of those that are involved. Know that we seek the highest, the truth, even if the truth is currently outside of their current paradigm. All right, Pisces, let's see what is going on for the month of July for you. Okay, we have... The Two of Pentacles reversed. We have the Page of Wands. The King of Swords reversed. The Temperance reversed. The Four of Pentacles reversed. And the Wheel of Fortune. Love it. All right. So we have one, two major arcanas here, the Temperance in Reverse, and then the Wheel of Fortune here. So it feels like there's a shift that's happening. There's some sort of turning point that's coming. There's good news. And it's. I feel like it's unpredictable. We don't know what that is going to be, right? There's going to be change. The Wheel of Fortune is about change that is happening in your life, um, trans versing i'm here transversing a cycle for some of you and this has something to do with mind body okay so some of you have may have been feeling a little bit out of balance maybe even feeling off a little bit because things are shifting in your life right now okay i like that energy okay that's that's the that's a normal that's a normal thing right things are feeling a little bit out of balance it's feeling a little different than what you um what you expect it to be because things are changing, okay? Just things are changing in general. And to be able to end on the will of fortune, knowing that fortune is coming into your life and it's a turning point and it's a turn for the better, that you're going to be reaching some point, uh, you're going to be reaching a, desti a destiny on the point of your journey, okay? So change is the inevitable. Change is either good or bad. It is neutral, however you see that, okay? So let's hop into this and see what's going on here. So we have, for your overall energy, we have the Two of Pentacles that's coming up reversed. So there is some, um, a level of unbalance that could be coming in. Some of you could be led astray in some sort of way or feeling overwhelmed, um, feeling like you need to make a, you, or you're going to have to make a choice about something or prioritize things or you're focusing too much on one thing and not the other because there is an unbalance. And there may be a little bit of financial instability that could be coming up for you during the month of July. But let's go ahead and clarify this Two of Pentacles. See what else is coming up for you. Both of those came out. Four of Wands and we have the Seven of Cups. All right. So, yeah. Yeah. I actually feel pretty good about this when it comes to an, an, an imbalance, like things are imbalanced. I feel like it's almost like the scales are turning in your favor, like especially when it comes to love, your finances, whatever this is. Um, you have to get it back to a place of balance, but it feels like an overflow of something. So an overflow of prosperity for you overflow of love, overflow of success. So it feels like there's a shift that is happening. And this is the number seven. Seven is a very spiritual number. And then the month of July is the seventh month of the year. So seven, 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 some of you are seeing. Also seven plus four uh, is 11. So some of you are seeing 11 and look, 11, 11 here with the four, with the, with the four of the Four of Wands is the 1111 here. So it is creating a new foundation and celebrating life. So yes, celebrate life this month. So maybe there is an instability, there is an unstableness or um, I don't want to say unstable because that, that can show up for some of you, but I'm feeling more good than indifferent about this energy, although this Two of Pentacles came out reverse. And it, you know, it, it says, it says unbalanced and overwhelmed, but I feel like you're going to be overwhelmed here, Pisces, overwhelmed with love, overwhelmed with money, 
um, overwhelmed with opportunity, seven of cups. Some of the things that you've been thinking and dreaming of are coming to fruition for you. And I love that. So get creative. This is reminding, reminding me to tell you to dream. Okay, and some of you have to dream, uh, dream, dream the biggest dream, dream beyond your imagination. This is what I'm feeling like. It feels like you have been in the dark or you have been hiding behind something or you have been wanting things and things have, have not come to fruition for you. But there's going to be an over an overwhelming energy of <laughs> abundance and prosperity and love and opportunities that's coming in for you. I love this where you're going to have the opportunity to make choices. So let yourself be the Pisces that you are and escape into your fantasy world and write down some of these dreams that you're envisioning. We know that Pisces, you are an escapist and you can escape and see the most magical things and go into different worlds. Let that parallel world become your current paradigm. I love this energy for you. So imagine, imagine big, okay? Because things are changing for you in a very drastic way here where the scales are tipping and the scales won't be balanced, but I feel like because it's an overflow of things that you have been wanting, Pisces. I love that energy for you. A challenge or obstacle that may come up for you. We have the page of wands in that position. So some of you may... Um, some of you may have success in, like I said, this overwhelming energy of money, flow, and love that you may neglect your practice. Don't forget that part of your practice has gotten you to this point. So make sure that you're not putting that on the back burner, okay? Some of you may travel. There may be some hiccups with travel that could be coming up for some of you as well. Um some of you are going to feel like you're not worthy of the things that are coming into your life. You are. It's a challenge for you because it feels like you either have never had these things and wanted them or you lost these things and now you're getting them back. And then there's a, a there's a, a an emotion of, am I worthy of this? Can I keep this? You're questioning it. Okay, and this is why it's very important for you, Pisces, to stick with your spiritual practice so that you can continue to elevate your faith and trust in whatever this is that you have been building, you have been envisioning, you have been dreaming. We have the Four of Cups. Now we have another number four. So you, some of you are seeing 44 or 444. Just remember stability. It's a building foundation. All right, Four of Cups and then the Queen of Wands is coming up for you reversed. So there's a level of Pisces remembering to stay in gratitude because some of you may find yourself in that position of feeling unworthy of things, feeling like that you should be getting more, that there should be more to this. Really stay in gratitude. That's all I can really say. So some of you, again, may decide to put your practice on a, on the back burner and that's going to be a challenge for you in order to attain whatever it is that you are bringing into your life so remember okay and remember all the times that you felt disappointed you felt victimized you felt self-pity you felt like you weren't worthy this is going to be a time for you to remember all of the things that you've already been through and that isn't anymore okay that you don't have to yield to others you don't have to fear things. I mean, I get that fear is a natural emotion that most humans will feel. But there's, you know, you may find yourself in this position of jealousy or cheating or, you know, cheating the system. I don't know how that shows up for you, but make sure you're not. Okay, so that's a challenge for some of you guys is putting the things that you have worked so hard for on the back burner just because something new is beautiful and shiny in your face doesn't mean that you forget about all of the things. Like it's almost like when your mom when when your mom used to say, some of you can relate to this, don't forget where you came from. Okay. So now that you're now that you're all big and you know blowing up and things are looking great, don't forget where you came from. So that's gonna be a challenge for you or, or an obstacle that comes up where you're like, okay, okay, I still have to focus on cultivating this practice and elevating to the next level because remember those of you that are doing your conscious work we have very very few times where we're experiencing the the abundance and the bliss of all the things that we work towards and then it's like bam on to the next lesson 
and you're like, oh God, not again. Okay, so enjoy it. Be grateful. Be thankful for those moments when they do arise. Where you're headed this month is the King of Swords. So some of you, I don't like that energy. The King of Swords reversed. Huh, because that's like, I, I feel like it's, it's, it's negative. I'm going to pull some, before I get into that, let me pull some, some more cards around this. This could be some, a person could be coming in trying to take um, action against you in, in a way. I don't know. Seven of Wands here and then the Ten of Swords reverse. Whatever this is, this is very interesting. Huh? Gemini Taurus energy here. Um, I feel like this is a person. Why? Like a person that you have to, you have to be defensive uh, with, okay? this Could this be an authority figure? Could this be a father figure, a mother figure? However, that shows up for you. But it feels like, it just feels like there's malice in their heart. They're like, they're hard. They're, like they're hard-headed or some sort of way. I don't know if they're using their power against you in, in a way. Or they have the, they're, they're some ulterior motives. But I feel like you have to fight. You have to fight against. Like you have to stand your ground in, in, in this. Very interesting. Pisces, this feels like someone that either you're currently dealing with or someone you have dealt with or this could be traumas from the past that you're working through you're healing through and trying to recover trying to recover from because it feels like it has definitely put you on your back but this is a time for you to grow from whatever this is you're moving on from someone you're moving on from these thoughts someone these feelings whatever this is this is going to be a month of healing and you are no exception from all of the readings I have done. Every zodiac sign has been about balance and a spiritual upgrade. And you're no exception. You're just at a different phase in your growth here, um, Pisces. Very interesting that it is the common theme that Spirit is saying. Like July is going to be a testing month for people. Um, and it's going to be a great month for you when it comes to overwhelm of abundance and love and prosperity. But there are still things that you're going to be working through this is why spirit is so adamant about you not putting your spiritual practice on the back burner because there's going to be healing that you still need to work through. This king of swords feels like a person and I, whoever this person is, I don't like the energy from this because it's always like it feels like there's a back and forth with you and this person that there's been a lot that this person may have done to you. Um, in the past could still be doing to you and, and abusing you in some sort of way, mentally, physically, emotionally, verbally, I don't know. But it, it feels like a very manipulative energy. They're very critical of the things that you do for your life and how you're showing up. And again, these could be thoughts. These could be things that you that have ruled your life, that have taken over your life, that negative self-talk that we talk about all the time. Okay, so that's where you're headed is really... Um, trying to sift through these energies and um, let them go at the end of the day. The most important part is healing from this in, in finding like the happiness that you have lost. Okay. And like I said, this is going to be a person or these thoughts that have taken over your whole life here, Pisces. What's happening in your near future, the temperance reversed. So we talked about this earlier about, mind and body may be feeling out of balance and this is why again spirit is saying stick with your practice because all of the things that are going you're going through experiencing levels heights highs uh, and experiencing peaks of um overwhelming prosperity like financial wealth and success and happiness but there's still lingering issues that need to be worked through and as my voice is trying to close up, something that you may need to discuss, work through, talk about with uh, your divine team, with a counselor, with this person. Um, some of you are even needing to talk to yourself, talk yourself out of this negative self-talk self as well. Um, excuse me. But that temperance is letting you know 
um, that there is going to be a time coming up for you where you're not going to be able to suppress your emotions or your desires anymore, okay? And I feel like it because, it's because you're working through some things and now you're in a position to fulfill your desires, especially for those of you who have been wanting more money. Now you can travel more. You can go out to nice dinners. You, you know, buy the car you want, purchase a home, like all of these things that you want to do. There's, you know, I feel like you're going to have to just talk yourself into you know, this self-talk that you can get yourself into of, um, am I worthy of it? Oh, excuse me, I have to stretch. <laughs> am I worthy of it? Um, is it going to last? Am I going to lose it? Am I going to keep it? Like, again, taking yourself into this spiral. Page of Swords, Reverse, and then the Hermit is coming up for you in the near future. So we have the Temperance and the Hermit coming up for you. So balance is definitely key for sure. Um, and stepping out of an energy of caring about what people think of you and how they feel, those those uh, your those fears of the unknown sort of inhibits the actions that you need to take. So make sure that you, um, and it feels like it's also part of your advice as well, is to, you know, you're not being careless with things or even defensive. So whoever this is or this this person that we just talked about or this emotion or these thoughts, you have to work through this and let that go. That's what I'm feeling. Work through it and let it go. And there there could be some, you know, some old news coming in. But I, I do feel nonetheless, it's something that you have to work through. You have to take some time and sift through your emotions and how you feel and contemplate about it and seek the wisdom from your practice. Right. So that you can receive the guidance or even mentorship if some of you are actually speaking to someone, but really connecting and tuning in because there may be answers that you could be missing when you're so overwhelmed with all of this good that's coming into your life. You could, again, if you step away from that practice, you could be missing things. And it feels like this is an ongoing journey, although you're experiencing the wealth and abundance on this part of your journey. Like I said, there are still things for you to work through. So that's what's coming up in your near future is really finding balance, speaking your truth, um, not suppressing your desires or your fears, letting that go. I mean, it definitely feels like a spiritual upgrade, although I'm not getting that specific message, but it feels like a spiritual upgrade, something that some of you have not experienced before, okay? Especially when it comes to the overwhelm of the good that I'm talking about. But again, speaking your truth, your desires, um, speaking through what makes you feel uncomfortable, whatever this is that you've been holding on to is letting it go, okay? Really focusing on your practice during this month. Your advice is the Four of Pentacles reversed. So there, so the, the unstableness is coming up again, okay? Where there could be some loss, okay? You gain something, you lose something. So you're letting go of something to gain something is what I'm feeling. But some of you are going to be in a position where you're able to, to save. Um, you're going to be able to purchase the things that you want or do the things that you want. Um, you can be charitable in this moment as well. I, I know that being in that we always want to stay in a balanced place, but it like for for what I'm feeling for you, Pisces, is because it is a level of, of material things and, and love and it and it's unbalanced. But again, bringing yourself back, reeling yourself in so that you can keep that and believe that you can keep it and also keep that those blessings coming in here, Pisces. I'll pull some cards on that. There's something you could be, there's something that you have, you have been holding on to that you're going to be letting go of. And I like that because you're, you're doing work. So some of you are letting go of debt. <laughs> you're letting go of people. You're letting go of the thoughts of lack and scarcity. I'm going to pull some cards. Let's see what's coming up. I have the four of pentacles here. Reversed. You're definitely creating a stable foundation for yourself. And number four is coming up again. Okay, the high priestess and the three of swords. All right. 
So whatever it is that you have lost, friendships, money, job, um, some, whatever it is that, that's coming up that feels disappointing, it feels painful, it feels like the, a storm of emotions, you feel um, powerless, you feel imbalanced, you're releasing in this moment. And I, and I feel like whatever it is that you have been trying to figure out what to let go of, I feel like you're going to be conscious of that during this time. You're going to see things through your dreams. You may be getting physical signs as well. Um, so when you see those things, make sure you write them down or just take note of them. And maybe you can even look it up to see what it means to keep you on track here. But there's something that you're going to be letting go of. Something that you're going to be losing. And I don't feel like this loss is detrimental to your being. I feel like it's something that you have been holding on to that you are going to be letting go of. And I feel like it just frees your spirit. Pisces, it frees you like you're letting go of being emotionally trapped and bound by your thoughts and by what people think of you and the heartbreak that you've experienced. This three of swords, for sure, thoughts, people that you've been dealing with, it was it was meant to be. The loss was meant to be. Some of you have lost money. Some of you have lost money in relationships. Some of you have um, just lost money in general, but you've, you've lost, you know, people that you love as well. But I feel, Pisces, I feel like you're going to be okay with the loss that you've had, that you've experienced. I feel like you know, Pisces, that this is a huge turning point, point for you. That those things and people had to be removed from your life in order for you to feel this overflow of success, abundance, prosperity, love, the things that you have been wanting in your life and have been fighting for. Seven of Wands here. You've been fighting for that for a very long time, Pisces. And now it is time for a change. The Will of Fortune, Final Outcome. Time for a change. Like this was all karmic. The things that you've been through that felt very heavy, the things you've been holding on to, like you're releasing something this month. And it feels, and this may be in your physical environment, could be in your body, like your emotions, like you're letting it go. And I feel like it's freeing you, Pisces. Karma. It's, this whatever whatever you've been through a cycle of something and it's is that an end the will of fortune is the number 10 the number 10 it points to an end an ending and a beginning so you're letting something go to better your life i'm gonna pull some clarifiers oh, oh. we have the magician wow wow justice wow some of you are seeing 10 10 11 seeing 111 we already said that Spirit is asking me to pull one more tarot card. King of Wands reversed. I, I feel like for some of you, I'm going to get this out because I'm feeling that from the King of Wands. Um, this energy of you are now... You are going to be um, starting from a clean slate. And some of you are going to be like, well, I don't know what to do next with everything that I'm experiencing. The love, the joy, the success, the prosperity, the letting go of something. I feel like it's going to put you in a place where you have been unclear. But I feel like there's going to be clarity that comes around this. And you're going to be focusing on yourself, Pisces. I love that. I'm going to put that to the side. Because I want to focus on these two major arcanas here. The Magician and the Justice clarifying the Will of Fortune. 10, 11, 10, 11, 11, 11, 1, 11. You guys, this is new energy. Whatever it is that you're letting go of this, this month is transcending your life to another level. Like whatever you've been going through has definitely been karmic. So it has been done for you, not to you. And all of the things that you have been manifesting that you feel like have sort of slipped away, 
that you're like, oh, I'm never going to get that now. I thought I've, I've asked for that a long time ago. It's never come to fruition. Now it is. Everything is fair and equal. The truth is being revealed because whatever you've been holding on to is now gone. And so now the truth is coming to light. You are finding balance. Look at that. Karma. Good karma. So there is a there is for sure a spiritual upgrade that is off the charts here for you, Pisces. Where you're going to be focusing on mastering something, stepping into your creative power, your spiritual power, self-mastering, manifesting things, your plans and ideas, okay? This is why I'm saying to dream. This is why... This is why, Pisces, I am telling you to write a list, a dream list. Write, a, write, write that down so that you can see it, so that you could put that into practice. We call that inspired action, and the magician is all about inspired action. Because everything is already ready for you. It's just something you need to drop. And I feel like that's going to come with, as you start seeing the, the wealth flow in, the love flow in to you, you begin to let that go, that old paradigm, that outdated energy or behavior that you've been holding on to because it's like the universe is saying, okay, you're ready now, so we're going to give it to you, Pisces. And when we give it to you, we need something in exchange. So I'm going to give you this, but you need to give me that, okay? So that is what you that would no longer serves you, okay? Whatever that king of swords and reverse energy is that you've been holding on to, resentment, heartbreak, being cold, like... All of that is, for some of you, that's going to be a thought. Some's going to be an emotion that you're holding on to in your body. And for some of you, that is a person that you're going to be letting go of. Whatever this is has, have been, has been blocking you, okay, on this phase of your journey. This could have been lingering for a very long time. This could be new. But whatever this is has been blocking you. But there's something that is about to open that that's so beautiful for you, beautiful for you Pisces. But know that you're going to have to give the, re, the universe something in return for what the universe is providing for you. And you don't want this anyway. You don't want what you've been holding on to anyway because it feels like it has manifested into something that is very uncomfortable that puts you in a very defensive place. That's not who, who you are. I feel like whatever this is sort of takes you out of character. I feel like you almost feel like a different person. And so that's going to be removed from your life. So when the universe hands you what it is that you have been asking for, let that ish go, okay? Because you are manifesting something that is so beautiful and grand. And I feel like it's going to level you up. It's going to um, boost your esteem, your confidence. And I'm looking at this. Look how you go from, I just got dizzy. It's like the room spun for a second. It's like, yes, it's like overwhelming, like overwhelming. 10 and 1. Remember I said a 10 is breaks down to a 1. So you move from ending something to beginning something. So Whatever this is that you're ending has been karmic and maybe passed down to you. Maybe it's something that you experienced in a relationship. Whatever this is, Pisces, I know that you have been going through endings after endings. And you're like, when can I get my new beginning? And although you've been in a new beginning, it hasn't showed up the way that you have wanted it to. But nonetheless, it is a new beginning. But I do feel like this new beginning is showing up for you physically. Because you guys have been doing a lot of emotional work and so now you're going to be reaping the benefits of doing all of that work and now seeing it in your physical life okay let me pull the divine timing card on this I'm loving this when is this I'm going to say when is this, this universal blessing coming into um, Pisces life <laughs> this card always I swear my guides are definitely like every I pull this card all the time I there's like I, I haven't seen a lot of these cards in this deck unless I actually go through it stop focusing on time frames <laughs> 
stop focusing on time frames. The bottom of the deck says more patience is required. But whatever this is here, Pisces, don't focus on the time frame and don't focus on this happening. It has to be in the month of July. July is also a month of lessons and revelations and spiritual upgrades because it is a number seven. So you're going to be experiencing things to really get you to this next this next phase. So there are emotions and people that need to be let go of in order to receive these blessings that you have been manifesting. Okay. I'm going to leave it at that beautiful energy here. <clears throat> Pisces, continue doing your emotional work. Continue releasing people and things and outdated paradigms from your life so that you can get what is rightfully yours. That is your reading, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Like, comment below if this resonates with you. Subscribe and hit that notification bell. I'd be grateful for that. Enjoy the month of July. I will see you guys very soon. Many blessings and love and light to you, Pisces. Peace.